sorry, I'm out of breath. I've been chasing Desiree around, but I'm about to move my bedroom around right now. I just feel really cramped, and when we walk in from the door to our room, here, I'll stand over here. It's like you come into the room and everything is right here. So everything is super cramped. It's driving me nuts. Desiree shut herself in the room. Need help, mommies? But yeah, so I decided I'm gonna try to move the bed over there where the fireplace is, like swap the bed in the fireplace and then just turn my desk. And maybe that'll give us a lot of room or a lot more room. I think it will open up the floor space. I kind of need to straighten up and clean up some more, but. And let me know your guys' opinion on this tiny space that I have. Like this is just a small space that we have to work with. Yes, my bathroom is a disaster, but. So I'm just thinking fireplace, desk turned this way and then bed coming out this way i'll probably leave the mirror there i'll probably leave the fridge there leave that there please not sure yet so let me know in the comments down below if you don't mind what you recommend on how you think i should rearrange the room just trying to like open it up because there's not a lot of floor space like this is my floor so I kind of have to squeeze through here to go that way and then get on my side of the bed. It's been driving me a little nuts. But got piles of laundry to do, more running in the washer now. And yeah, so let's get to it. to call in some reinforcements and have my older son help me move this out of the corner I didn't want my daughter to drop it on her toes because the whole thing is glass I didn't want it to didn't want her to get hurt so we had to be really careful when we move this because it's one of those things like once you put it together you can't really move it around too much um, or it's gonna shatter so we're just trying to decide where we're gonna put all the furniture I'm just gonna try it here in this spot first um, as you keep watching though, I do end up changing my mind a couple times.
once again, I had to get my son to try to help me. That outlet right there that we are trying to finagle uh, ended up not working out for some reason. I was trying to get my fireplace extension cord to plug into the bottom part of that outlet, but like the outer casing broke in half, and then for some reason now it's blocking the bottom plug so it's not gonna work the way I wanted it to but that's okay when my husband got home I got him to fix it So the standing mirror, which is why the mirror fell on Desiree um, not too long ago, but the string on the back of it that's supposed to hold the bottom from sliding out got broken from our kitties at our last house um, before we moved out of there. So I know that there was a little uh, trick that my husband figured out with it, with the, with the string, and I just couldn't figure out and couldn't remember how to do it. So we tried to get it to work the best that we could, but it doesn't end up staying in this spot anyways. I end up moving it back to the exact same spot where I had it to begin with. And then we figured it out. What we ended up doing was placing my vanity, my makeup desk, whatever you want to call it, I call it my vanity, in front of my window. That way I have natural lighting because I would like to sometimes be able to do some kind of makeup tutorials for you guys in the future. Um, I have a whole setup and I'm so excited to use it, but the lighting obviously in here isn't that great. So the best place in my opinion was to put the vanity in front of my window. I have a big old window. The lighting during the day comes in really well, so I'll have that perfect natural lighting. Um, and then we just ended up moving the bed into the corner. I know I was complaining about having to climb over my husband all the time, but honestly, to give us the best amount of floor space in this bedroom, this was by far the best setup that we came up with. And honestly, I absolutely love it. I love how the whole room turned out. I love how I can walk into my bedroom now and not be so overwhelmed by everything right by the door. It's just all completely open as soon as I walk in and everything just fit perfectly. It looks like little Nermal, our kitty that we just had to get rid of because the kid's allergies, unfortunately. We were super sad about having to let go of him, um, but we gave him to our neighbor across the hall from us. But uh, he used the bathroom behind my basket of clothes, of course. So I'm just finding that now and cleaning that up. Um, and then I'm going to move my basket of clothes into my closet. This is where me and my husband have both of our clothes baskets for now. Stay tuned for an updated closet makeover. Okay, we are all finished. Tell me what you guys think of this setup, if this is any better. We just moved my bed into the corner of the room, left the mirror, put my vanity. It's kind of a weird angle. Vanity by the mirror. 
a lot more open space. Well, at least the floor. All right, so I just need to organize my vanity and dust it off and clean it because it is filthy right now. Put all these clothes away. Got everything set up. I need to clean my bathroom. And see, my washer and dryer is in my closet, so I moved all my clothes to one side, and then Michael's are on the other side. Now we can walk in better. And I just need to organize all my makeup back on my vanity. But yeah, I think this will do for now. I at least have room now to walk into the bedroom and have more floor space. Thank you for helping. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any other video ideas, please comment down below.